Is there any weapons or ammunition on board? So is it gonna fit? This is the first time we've done this. I do not know. You That's... don't know. Comment and tell us how to pronounce <laughs> it. Exactly, but Woo! what we do know. <laughs> I see bear poo or did I see moose poo? This is the crown jewel, Helmkin Falls. everyone well we are on I guess day one officially day one. of Alaska yeah and we are but we're still in America mm -hmm. so we, we have a hundred and seventeen miles <laughs> that's to right the Canadian border so we oh. left the campground this morning our mm -hmm. thousand trails uh, did a little bit of water fill up yeah in case you're wondering why I am Recording David backing up. We're backing up to the heated water hose here at the lodge because we have to fill up our bladder. This is what we're going to probably do doing in Alaska. So, will the bladder fit without putting the seats down? I do not know. You that's, don't know. That was the first time we've done this. So uh, that's why we're doing it here. While we have time, while we're not rushed, it's not a gorgeous day. <laughs> so look, look, look what David's wearing. Look what I'm wearing. Sport my earmuffs, my parka, jeans, boots. Even the little birdie on top of the flagpole says it's a pretty day. So is it gonna fit? Looks like it will. So the campsite that we're staying in, it's still winter time. And we have electric and sewer, but not water. So actually this is going to be good to test this whole thing out. Does that thing have a valve so you can turn it off so all the water won't go squirting up? Uh, it won't go squirting up with the valves on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. It won't pop out. There's not that much pressure. <clears throat> Trust me, I've done this a few times. Yeah, but that was on the back of the truck. <laughs> That's true. Artemis is going to be our water boy. <clears throat> All right. Well, how's nice. it feeling? Is it doing pretty good? Doing good so far. All right. This is like watching water boil. Yeah, I'm actually curious to see how full our tank will get from oh from this from the we should do a I do a before and after picture of the uh, mark well I know it's at about 25 percent is it right at 25 or below I have to look. I'm, I'm guessing a little bit below probably uh, touch it well I think we're just about there. All right. I think I'm going to turn it off and we will head on back and pump it. Okay, so it survived. We heard a lot of sloshing. That looks good. Looks good. And why are you getting into the hydraulic system here? <laughs> Because because I installed some power ports. Oh, so nice. Is that nice? That looks really good. Yeah. And you did that on both sides. I did on both sides. One for the macerator and this one for pumping uh, fresh water. Because this is our fresh water fill. Mm -hmm. Fresh water connection. 
and I can hook up the pump into that, which we'll see in a moment. And off we go, hopefully. All right, <laughs> cool. Look at those big old power ports. That's nice. Look at that. Look at that. So cool. Does that look good or what? So this is the pump that David did a video on that he built. Water transfer pump. This is exciting. I love testing out new systems. Yes. Should be very exciting. <laughs> when we tested this, we've never actually used it. Used it like cool. For real. All real. right. So you guys are seeing this in action. So he's plugging in. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. I don't know. I probably got. I guess with everything here, if I brought it all out. I guess I probably got about 75 feet. Or so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never used all of it. But just in case. But I've used enough. This is a nice little shorty hose. Right. And then you've got the big hose there. That'll reach to that. Yeah. Boy, I get the honors of turning it on. Yeah. See that water flowing good. And fuel fill up. Yes, the last one. Last one in a American, I'll say low prices, but we're in Washington, so. Not so low. Not that low. <laughs> no, it's like a dollar more a gallon in Washington versus what is it, Idaho yeah. and Montana. So. Yeah, surprising. Well, not surprising. No. But. Yeah, heading up to the border, and once again, this trip, this drive, is surprising us yeah right now we're heading right up the columbia river and it's just i mean the orchards i mean i've wow there are so many I mean, it's, orchards it's unbelievable uh, and, and a lot of them are coming in bloom now and i think probably within the next i don't know five days or so they're having a festival here oh yeah. excuse me what in the world yeah so we got some Pickers. these orchards are being trained in almost these v-shapes yeah they're making it more efficient to pick and prune uh -huh. uh, and it's uh, really amazing uh it's almost artwork it is like bonsai in, trees in, yeah in some cases yeah. so it's, it's really cool so yeah <laughs> sandra has been like snapping i don't know she's well, I've been going like an hour this morning. She's got like a hundred pictures already. Oh, I've got, well, okay, I've got 64 on this. <laughs> and probably, yeah, probably another 40 on my phone. Probably, yeah. But it's beautiful and they're starting to bloom and we saw some really pink, purplish, violet, lavender-ish All blooms. kinds and of I, flowers. Those might be cherries, I don't know. But I, I mean, know. just literally just orchard after orchard after orchard after yeah. orchard i'm just i'm blown I, away by this i mean there's except for where houses are there's literally almost no spare piece of land no. that it doesn't have an apple tree or some fruit tree on it yeah it's, it's incredible. incredible it's beautiful but we're uh, yeah just heading up this uh, valley and we got the water on one side we got well an orchard's all over yeah on both sides so on either side we'll uh we'll check back in once we get closer to the border hopefully they'll let us in hopefully they'll let us in this time and we won't be denied no <laughs>
We're about five miles from the border, mm -hmm. but Highway 97 sort of, the terrain flattens out yeah. the last 50 miles and it's really kind really of nice. very nice. Yeah. We're still following the river, the Okanagan River. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, we split off from the Columbia, yeah. and now we're on the Okanagan. Yeah, so it's West it's Canada. really cool, and mm -hmm. uh, but it's a different terrain than before. It's uh, yeah. wider, still have those mountain uh, mm -hmm. sides, but yeah, it's uh, it's really neat. Yeah, and um, the orchards. Yeah, oh, yeah, and the orchards are they're wow. just packed everywhere. Uh, so getting close to the border, but this trip, we also had a surprise. Uh, one of our viewers reached out to us uh -huh. and wanted to meet us and actually give us a little personal tour yeah of the okanagan valley yeah so getting a little uh locals um i might try to say a uh, local flavor uh yeah. local spin on uh, on the area yeah it's always good to talk to locals because you know they, they know where all the good stuff is oh yeah yeah so we're looking forward to that it's kind yeah. of exciting and we're going to meet them uh on the other side of the border uh -huh. and then we're getting an sightsee escort. <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're going to show us where a place to park the rigs and then they're going to take us in their van and and just show us around give the us area a little bit of a tour so that's mm -hmm. kind of unexpected and yes. and very exciting it is it's beautiful couldn't have asked for a perfect day I oh mean, it's sunny it's, it's 67 gorgeous. right now it's supposed to be high like 72 it yeah, just everything's coming together yeah it's really nice so we'll uh, we'll get back when we're a little closer to the border yeah oh what uh what questions do you think they're going to ask um do we have any citrus firearms i think citrus oh poultry, poultry. citrus and firearms yeah no, not citrus produce I'll, i'm going to be more generic and say poultry produce and firearms yeah now are they going to ask about like wine and alcohol do you think these guys will ask? I don't think so. I, I think it's just going to, well, you know, they might because we just drove through kind of some wine country, but we're actually heading to wine country. Yeah. So I'm going to say no only because the big wine country is going to be on the other side of the border. Yeah, I think so too. I, I don't think they're going to ask uh, that, but mm -hmm. I think you're right. Poultry, produce. Firearms, and firearms and probably not bear spray because it's it's allowed now exactly mm -hmm. so they may ask about mace yeah, pepper spray pepper possibly spray, yeah yeah, so. yeah looks like they give us signs on the border wait times mm -hmm. and so far they're not even lit up so so what does that mean we're thinking they're either closed or there's absolutely no wait <laughs> all right so half a mile oh it's right there. Yes, it's That's a that big, big building. building. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start the protocol. Yep. So Off there is with the glasses. border crossing protocol. Mm -hmm. We pull out our passports, take off our glasses, mm -hmm. and when we stop, we don't pop the air brakes. But in the motorhome, we don't have we to worry, don't about, worry that. about that. Yeah. <laughs> and you also turn off your engine as well because mm -hmm. it's just. It's noisy nice course, and courteous this is pretty quiet so. yeah really quiet Looks but like i'm still going to turn it off um, all right i think we need to shut this off now yes i think so getting close yes this is like the pre-screen that's what i'm thinking oh i do have that cabbage so oh yeah Who wants you to stop? Hi, how's it going? Good, go ahead and shut her down for me. Where are we headed? Alaska. Uh, eventually Alaska. Okay. Have a lovely day and good meeting you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Nice meeting you too. Head on Don't, forget, to Canada. Don't forget to stop for Canadian Customs. Oh, yeah. This is, the US, this is US outbound. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So we can't just like haul through there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All Thanks, right, have guys. A good day. Thank you. Appreciate what you do. So they're U.S. Yeah. Are they Canadian? No, they're U.S. Oh, so we hadn't even gotten to Canada yet. No, no we're not in in Canada yet. So they're just interviewing us to let us leave? That was weird. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, there's only one lane open. Mm-hmm. We got our passport. Yep, right here. <laughs> yeah, they, they, he gave him back. <laughs> I was watching him. He looked like a wily one. Is there anybody here? I don't know. The light oh, the light green. turned green. Yeah. It's magic. It's magic. Where is everybody? It's a little Dude. weird. Hi, folks. How are you? Hi. Hi. Good. How are you doing? Good. Where do you guys live? Uh, we live in Texas. We're heading to Alaska for a vacation. You have arrived. All right, so we are in Canada. We are, and wow. as soon as we cross the border, we go from apple orchards to vineyards. Yeah, I mean, they're just covering. I mean, literally. Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> literally, we, we get out of the border, and they're boom, right there. Yeah, this is crazy. Wow. Vineyards everywhere. Everywhere. This is fantastic. Wow, look at all that. Man, nice rolling terrain. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, yeah, nice. Just made it through customs and guys were super nice. Really nice. Really nice. And there is Bob. He's going to take us to a place to park and then we're going to start touring the area. Lake Osoyos. We're going to take a little tour this afternoon with Bob and Jerry. They've been very gracious to show us around their great city and neat part of British Columbia. We're looking forward to it. It's just a gorgeous area. The Lake of Soyuz behind me. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous area. The Soyuz Lake, uh, both north and south, we just call it the north half and south half. Straight across, the highest peak you see over there is called Mount Chewbacca. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> From Star Wars? Yes, yes. No, actually, they claim it's an indigenous name. Uh, so that's on the U.S. side. Uh, some of the gravel is, is uh, glacial deposit. So we are here at a top secret racetrack facility and right next door is our wild horses. So David has finally seen wild horses at a top secret racetrack facility. Can you believe that? <laughs> we had a great 
first night at our harvest host uh, here in British Columbia, Canada. It was a fantastic first day. And we're getting ready to head on today up to near Kelowna. We're going to see Skaha Lake, I think, and then uh, stay at a provincial park. We hope if we can get in. It was a great day yesterday. It was a really nice dinner last night. Uh, we're in a, a, not a vineyard. I was getting ready to say a vineyard. It's a cidery. Uh, it's actually an organic farm. And the owners were fantastic. And we uh, had dinner last night and stayed the night. It was so peaceful and just beautiful area. So we're gonna head on. So we have to turn left over there. That's true. Pretty easy roundabout. We just might. We have to initiate our travel companions, don't we? We do. So is it this road? Is it this road? Mm. Mm. Oh, I think I missed that turn, didn't I? I think I have to go back. Yep, sorry, sorry guys. Yeah, yeah, gee, my bad. Well, we're going in circles. We're with David. You have to ask that question. But it wasn't caught on camera. Oh, you don't know that. You're pretty sure we can fit? I mean, there's a lot of trees. I can't see them. Oh, they at least have sight links. I mean, this isn't going to be like a tent camping. No, they list no sight links. Oh, they, what, wait. They list no sight links? No. No, there's no, there's no they don't list an individual site with the length of the site. So we're going into sight unseen. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I've That's been hanging good. around you too long. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. We're coming to you live from Canada, British Columbia. <laughs> she was not expecting that. 
All right, so it's day two of our Alaska journey. We're in Canada, British Columbia. Oh. <laughs> and we're up here in uh, Kelowna. We uh, took a part of the day to drive up here mm -hmm. and got here on the lake uh, mm -hmm. at a provincial park. Really nice. Super pretty. Yesterday was... Wow. Very unexpected. Wow. That was like the best first day of a trip a person <laughs> can ever, ever make. Ever. Ever. I mean. <laughs> it was really cool. It was super cool. Yeah. There was nobody at the border. Oh, man. We breezed right we on did. through. The guys <laughs> yeah. were super nice there. They were. Both on the U.S. and the Canadian, Canadian side. side. Yeah. Yeah, really nice guys. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Bob and Jerry met us. They were the ones who... They we're going to uh, show us around uh -huh. Osoyos. And yeah, so they reached out to you, they're, they're viewers of the channel. Hey, Bob and Jerry. So, so they met us at the border. And boy, did they ever wow. show us the town. They showed, we, <laughs> we got more than we bargained yes, for. Yes, it was absolutely amazing. It they was really us, nice. Yeah, they, the way they went to the top of the hill, and yep. we had this gorgeous overlook view. Oh, yeah. And then we drove further on up to the valley, yep. and we found this secret Area 27. Area 27. Yeah. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> And so they did race car driving? Or yeah, race car driving. For private owners. Yeah. So if you ever want to take your smart car up there, you can race it. <laughs> yeah, I think more Ferraris and McLarens are yeah, actually yeah. occupying the track time. But, but the you know. best part of that was David got oh, to check yeah. something off his list. And it wasn't the donkeys from Oatman. No, it was wild horses. Yes. Actually, they call them feral horses feral. up here. But they're wild yeah, horses, it yeah. Was, it was wild. And then, oh, they had little foes, little babies, and they were so oh, yeah. cute. Yeah, they were running around with yes. their moms and such. So yeah. that was really a neat experience. That was neat. Very unexpected. We yes. saw the signs, yeah. but then all of a sudden they peered out of the uh, woods. Yeah. And that was just right really next cool. to the racetrack. Yeah, they were unfazed by all the <laughs> yeah. motorcycles that were going around the track yeah. at the time. Yeah, really a, a cool nice. afternoon. And then they showed us, they went to a couple of wineries, and, yep. and that was a lot of that fun. That was nice. We got, to do, got to taste some wine. Yep. Uh, and then after that, we um, we ended the day. He oh. escorted us to the Harvest Host, where we stayed for the night. Um, a really it? phenomenal dinner. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it was really nice. Um, I'll, I'll put the name uh, down here. Yeah. And it we was saw just so super many nice. I'm just like brain overload. I yeah. can't think of it. But it was but... row 14 restaurant. It's really cool because <laughs> it's a totally organic farm. This yeah. couple moved from Vancouver and they, they came in, they bought five acres, and now they have a 65 acre farm. Yep. 30 acres, I don't know why I remember these numbers, but 30 acres is farm and 30 acres is orchard. So it's non vineyard. Yes, and it's organic uh, farming. All organic. And they're and just they, super people. Super sweet people. They give back to the community. They, they sponsor a lot of homeless and feed, oh, yeah. feeding the family. Feeding families. feeding families, not homeless. But the food was phenomenal. Food, yeah. We and had the drive. things that we just normally don't have. Have, and they were yeah, delicious. They were. So that was that was so much that fun. That was really nice. Uh -huh. Had a nice provincial park. Uh, we're roughing it here by the lake. Yeah. And it's just really a, a nice day. And mm -hmm. this is a great end to the day. Oh, but, but got to go to the Canadian Superstore. Oh, yeah. That'll and, be something else. Yeah. So yeah. that'll probably be a separate video. But I think so. everything we got that we wanted was on sale. Oh yeah. And we had the 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 exchange rate, so we got advantage of that. Yeah. So I'm really excited. This it's wow. So far. So far day 2. Man, day 2. Can it get any better? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to hit the road tomorrow mm -hmm. and we'll take it easy and we're going up to another provincial park. Mm -hmm. It'll be up near Kamloops, a little mm -hmm. uh, north of there. Mm -hmm. And we're having some spectacular weather. So we're going to enjoy it in this area for another day. Yeah. So we're glad you're coming along mm -hmm. and come along with us tomorrow and we'll see what happens. Yeah. What's next? What's next? <laughs> don't think I'm turning right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'd turn right either. <laughs> So the posted sign is 179.9. The TSD card is saying 148.
So where was it that we got fuel like this? In Iowa. So we know how to think, work this now. I think Cedar. Maybe. Uh, I think Cedar Rapids. Yeah. Oh, the places you'll go. Okay, so not that I am trying to justify anything, but we are at a Canadian truck stop, and look, there are no soda fountain machines here. Well, there's no picture of David pumping because... <laughs> there was no joy in no, at that fuel stop. No, so the T, this fuel station was on the TSD app, yep. and they tried the card, it didn't work. And we've been seeing $1.68 all, all day long. And these guys were $1.96 yeah. per liter, Canadian. So we're, we're okay. heading to a, another place that's yeah. got to be $1.60 something. Right. And th this town, it's a town of Kamloops, is a town of like 100,000 people. So I'm sure we'll be able to find something better. Oh, yeah. Be a selection, I'm sure. Yeah, so we've got 22 miles to our next stop, and I'm sure we'll find something between here and there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, we're checking out the Petro Canada to see if they have diesel. Well, yeah, 166. Nice, so that's 30 cents <laughs> cheaper than the uh, truck stop. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Oh, is that chicken I'm smelling? I think it is, it might be Chester's. It is Chester's. Oh, it is Chester's. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Canada. That is so funny. It is. We don't see Chester's going across the U.S. except for once or twice, and now in Canada. Yeah, northern Washington and here. They're everywhere. Gotta love Canada. It's a little snug in here. It is a little snug in here. I tell you, it's always weird uh, feeling in Canada because it's in liters. Yeah. I look up there and I say, oh man, 23 gallons. It's like, no, no, 23 liters. Liters, divide by 3.3 something. Got a ways to go. Yeah, and see 166, but that's cents, not dollars. Yeah, per liter. Yeah. <laughs> now there's a brown sign up yeah, there. Yeah, that's it. Palm Lake Provincial Park. You feeling lucky? I'm feeling lucky. Think we're gonna get a site? No reservations. No reservations. First it's a gorgeous come, first weekend. Serve. We're right next to 130,000 population town. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna score a site. Oh, you think so? I think so. I hope so. We'll see. It says campground. So there's. Is it to, to the, right? the right? Uh oh, it is closed. Can't be closed. It says it is closed. That is the campground, and it is closed. Well. Gate close, 10 to 11. Hmm. They said there was no alerts, nothing. That it was open. Well, a scheduled stop for lunch, uh -huh. and we thought maybe a campground and we find out that oops it's closed now the website doesn't mention anything about no. it but we pull up to the gate and it is locked uh -huh. closed sign and everything and because we're in a motorhome with a toad we can't back up so we had to drive all the way down this yep. windy road to this beautiful piece of paradise <laughs> oh boo -hoo. so but, so we had a gorgeous view for our lunch and it was nice so now we just got to figure out plan B. Yeah, so we're going to head back up the road and mm -hmm. get to the Wherever. next, we have next no place. Idea. Yeah, get to the next place. <laughs> yeah. Man. <laughs> All right, well, <coughs> so there was no cell service down by Paul Lake. So we came back up. We're driving along the highway. Finally found a phone number after multiple attempts to find somebody. We found a live body. But because the service was scratchy, they said they wouldn't talk to us until they could hear us clearly. So we finally found a place to pull over. We pulled over and called back. And you checked. Wait, what's this thing called? Like this? No, wildlife corridor. Oh, that's a bear. Bear. Is a bear. It a well, it's not elk. a bear, but it's a sign for a bear. Yes. So anyhow. Yeah, if it was exciting. a bear, she would have dropped oh, that yeah, phone and she would have the camera. <laughs> 
so so anyhow we finally pulled over we got service I got a hold of a really nice gentleman and we said what's availability for Paul Lake and he said well it's first come first serve and we said okay well why is the gate closed he's like hmm I don't know let so me check. let me go check so he put us on hold for a couple of minutes came back he's like yeah it doesn't open up till May 12th which was the same date that it opens up for reservations right. and not first come first serve but the website does not list that no it doesn't as a matter of fact this guy even thought it was open yes. so you've been vindicated good job so it wasn't you um so then we tried the two other parks that you were going to stay at. One of them, he said, was closed. So that's good to know that, even though the website doesn't say anything that the campground's closed, even though the entire park is open. And yes. The website was very clear. The park is open. And this is one of the largest provincial parks yeah. in what, BC. What's the name of it? I can't remember. Wells, Wells Gray, Gray. Provincial so, Park. Wells Gray Park is open. The visitor center is closed. The website says it's open. And the Camp campground is closed. not. So, thank goodness we called. So, since this guy was so helpful, <laughs> it's one of the disadvantages of being a helpful person. Someone's going to go, oh man, well, I've got someone who knows something. I've so, latched onto them. Yeah. Found a campground. It's first come, first serve. So we'll we'll see. Yeah. So this was our backup plan. So that's good news. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to alter our schedule moving forward uh -huh. by just a day, but but yeah. no problem because. But this kind of puts us in the no fly zone too. A little bit, but we'll lay low for yeah. two days. Yeah. So if we can get to the campground and just hide out. <laughs> <laughs> This video is going to come out after May 1st, so, yes. so we'll be okay um, because of the restrictions. There are certain roads in Canada that uh, you can't drive on unless you have special tires May 1st onward or May 1st before, but so far right. we've been legal. Now, if this video doesn't come out uh, the, the week of like May 3rd, or fourth, and someone may need to bail us out with yeah. the RCMPs, the Royal Canadian Mountain Police, because yeah. that means we got caught. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we made it. Means they're we open. Two. How are you feeling about this one? <laughs> I'm feeling really good about this one. Well, I that's think, what you said about the last one too. I think we're gonna find two spots. <laughs> you think so, huh? So you're feeling a little bit better than the last one we were at. That well, was I was close. feeling pretty good on the last one until I wasn't. <laughs> no, it's closed. No, it's closed.